In this video, I'd like us to look at the burn-in feature in Subtitle Edit 3.6.13 versus Subtitle Edit version 4. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, Subtitle Edit has come a long way to a point where we now can burn subtitles into a video right in Subtitle Edit, which is really awesome. But there was a drawback or a downside to using Subtitle Edit 3.6.13 because for every minute you wanted to kind of see how your subtitles will look like you had to click on the preview button but that is no longer available you can now see your changes in real time in subtitle edit 4 that's the major change now i'm just going to walk you through uh, how uh, you can do this uh, let's go to video open video file i'm just going to open a video file right here and this is subtitle edit 3.6.13 now, next up, I'm going to use the audio to text feature via Whisper and use the engine const me uh, because I do have a, a graphics card. It's going to kind of go through this very fast. I'm using the base model and I'll click on generate to just get uh, automatic subtitles really, really quick for the for demonstration purposes. So that's done. And we already have our subtitles. Now let's go to subtitle edit four. And this is what the interface needs to look like although the shipped version of the official version of subtitle edit 4 did not get this uh, updated uh, user interface icons uh, kind of missed along the way or something uh, but we're going to repeat the process let's go to video open video file the same video click on open and then let's do video audio to text whisper we're going to use const me click on generate it's going to take more or less five seconds as well. Now, our subtitles are done. The next option, let's go back to subtitle edit 3.6.13, is burning our subtitles to a video. So I'll go to video, generate video with burned in subtitle. I'll click on that. And once you get here, you tend to realize the issue here was one. To see how your subtitles are going to look like once they're burned into the video, you had to click on preview. If I click on this, it takes some time to kind of see the changes and then you get this kind of boring uh, screen right inside there. Let's close this. Now, that was one of the major issues that we've always had with, uh, or I've always had with Subtitle Edit 3.6.13 or even earlier versions since uh, the burning feature was introduced. But this has been updated in Subtitle Edit 4. And if I go to video, Generate video with burned in subtitle. Now you can see your video in real time. You can see the uh, subtitles, how they look like. And if you make any change, let's assume that you adjust, let's say you bump up uh, the font size. You can see it changes in real time. Now, as for the font, if you decide to change a font, let's click on one and then just uh, use the arrow key up, arrow key to go up. Or you can actually press on a letter Press on A, we are going to look for Arial. Arial, you can see your changes in real time. This is highly welcome and it's one of the new improvements to the burning window that will save you a ton of time. Now, you can also notice that in comparison to subtitle edit 3.6.13, we now have the option to kind of choose what type of box or color do we want to have uh, on like uh, the background of our subtitle so that's available in subtitle edit 4 right here the box color and then we have some text color now room for improvement here is like a reset button right here or maybe somewhere here or something of that sort so that if you had changed this particular color to a different color you can just click on reset to go back to the original which to me looks really good uh, for the text color as well and probably one more feature is probably to add a bold kind of uh, icon to check if you want you'd like to bold your font uh, that is something that i think would be highly appreciated and finally for the uh, burning uh, subtitle option probably in future versions it would be awesome to get like a batch uh, burning kind of feature where we can actually just put in our video and then select our subtitle that we want and maybe if you're using uh, advanced substation alpha styles then you can choose a style that you've created 
or if you don't have a style just use the font size and maybe whatever settings that you've set uh, right here and this is good for repetitive tasks yeah you can do this in handbrake but it would be awesome to have like a batch burning subtitles to multiple videos instead of maybe uh, you having to import a video uh, import the subtitle and then burning it now those are the few changes that you can see and it's really uh, doesn't feel that much but you can imagine if you're working on uh, subtitles and you you make a change let's say a font size of 39 click on preview so you kind of have to go there and then you see okay it doesn't look good let's say you want font size 60 and then click on preview uh, you see it wastes a lot of time and also we can also see that if you want to change a font you change a font click on preview again and you still have to get the please wait kind of notification which is really really boring now that is a comparison of subtitle edit 3.6.13 versus subtitle edit for the burning feature and the improved burning feature in subtitle edit 4 is really really good with some uh, kind of room for improvement there with like a reset button here and there maybe a checkbox to bold this particular text if you'd like to bold it uh, if you don't want the, uh, the opaque box you can always remove it you can have it back uh, and maybe something just to bold and maybe in future to be able to batch ban subtitles to video that is something that uh, hopefully we'll get one day I hope this video is of value to you so if you're still on the old version of subtitle edit 3.6.13 and you'd like to leverage on uh, being able to see how your subtitles look like in real time before burning in then you need to upgrade thanks for watching until next time stay safe and never stop learning